Tell me what you see here, Chris. Let's take a look. Um, myself? Hello and welcome back to Save by the Bell Boxing Volume 7 Episode 7 back once again. So, big news announced by Bob Arum himself that Anthony Yard, yes, Anthony Yard, the man that has ducked every domestic light heavyweight, is going to fly to Russia and take on the man that they call the crusher, Kovalev. Well, big news. So I know a lot of people on Twitter are for this fight or against this fight that believe Yard can go over there, that believe Kovalev will outclass him completely. There's a school of thought to both of those fighters. Kovalev had the two fights with Andre Ward. Before those fights, he was almost seen as unbeatable, as a machine, as a monster, with a monster punch. Someone you just don't want to get in the ring with. Vicious, vicious boxer. And then he fought Andre Ward, where some people said he won, some people said he lost. I'm an Andre, I'm an Andre Ward fan, so you know I'm going to edge the side to Andre Ward. But nevertheless, they were very close fights. And then his last two fights, he's fought Alvarez, being knocked out once, won the other one by UD. Is Kovalev on a decline? I think he is. I don't think he's as feared. People have seen that he's beatable. You know, he's not that monster anymore and that that he has weak spots and that he can get beaten and he can get knocked out uh, we know that he doesn't live the life possibly as he should do likes a little bit of a drink but nevertheless he's still ranked number one by box rec in the world now anthony yard on the other hand the man that has ducked everyone that's took a lot of stick for not fighting domestic opponents is taking a big risk or is it a big risk is it a calculated risk right Anthony Ali's nine, I think, right ninth in the world on box rec. If he fights Kovalev and beats Kovalev, he becomes number one. Number one light heavyweight in the world. That will send shockwaves across the world of boxing. Let me tell you that because a lot of people, I'm, I'm sitting on the fence at the moment, but a lot of people do not think he can go out there and win this fight and think it's dangerous. But a lot of people think he can. Now, if he wins, as I said, he would go to number one. Now, Anthony Yard is showing big fucking balls. Let me tell you that. Now, I like Anthony Yard. I've always liked him. I think um, he's got a good boxing brain. He's very composed in the ring. He likes to hunt down his opponents. He's vicious. He likes his work. He loves to knock out. Now, 18, 17 knockouts in 18 fights is not a bad record, but he's never fought anyone on the level of Kovalev. So how do we know? You know, is this a massive gamble? Is it a calculated gamble? We know his trainer is very confident in his ability. Anthony Yard himself is very confident in his ability because he's never lost. He's only known winning. He's only known knocking people out. So you can't blame him for going out there. But Anthony, if you're going out there, you've got to knock him out because you won't get it on points. You've got to go over there and you've got to destroy him. Which is a tough task, let me tell you that. But it would put him up the rankings to number one. Now, I think it's kind of clever in a way because they're fighting Kovalev, which is not the Kovalev that we know. He's not the, he's, as I said, he's not the monster anymore. Now, if you look at the uh, box rec ratings for, say, the top 10, um, well, the fighters between Anthony Yard and Kovalev, there's some good names there and there's some good fighters. Now, Kovalev, I don't think necessarily is the number one lot heavyweight in the world. I, 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 I don't believe that. So, it's kind of calculated that he almost, Anthony Yard, could jump to the number one spot by not beating possibly the best best, best light heavyweight in the world, but in Kovalev. So, it could be a calculated risk. And, you know, this is not fully announced. Now, Yard fans will be like, yeah, come on, let's go out there. Let's dare to be great again, once again, using that term. But let's go out there. Now, I don't know if Kovalev fans will be licking their lips because even... Bob Aaron said, I've never heard of this guy. I know he's an African kid. I've never heard of this guy. So, you know, it's possibly, you know, they may be thinking it's an easy touch. It's an easy fight. Look at his record. He's fought no one, 18 and 0. We've seen it before. We'll knock him out. Job done. On to the next one. Mm. 
Could it be a surprise package? Do us? Do the people in the UK know something that they don't know? Do we believe he's that good? Is the step up too great? Can he just shine at that level? We don't know. We don't. We we none of us know. But you know what? He's got a good chance. I think he's got a good chance of doing this. Um, it's not officially announced yet. It's just what Bob Arum said. The uh, you know negotiations have uh, have been done, and you know we'll wait for the official announcement. So in future, I will make another video on dissecting on how to beat Kovalev or how to beat Anthony Yard. But from now, it's big, it's big news, and off you go, Anthony Yard. Good luck, comrade, because you're gonna need it, mate. But you got a chance. Go knock him out anyway. Thanks for the views, likes, shares, blah, 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 blah. And remember, be careful out there, especially you, Anthony Yard. Stay safe.